What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome to a new episode of Murray Chat. We got a couple Sony related topics to discuss that have been floating around in the news, some big topics. Starting with Sony PlayStation games coming to PC, or should I say more Sony PlayStation games coming to PC, because this is not something that's brand new, right? So we've had this happen before. We've had this happen with uh, last August. We had Horizon Zero Dawn. So uh, who was it? Jim Ryan, right? I believe the uh, the president of Sony PlayStation recently just discussed more PlayStation games are coming to the PC. Um, yeah, Jim Ryan uh, recently told British GQ, starting with Days Gone being the first one of many coming to PC. And this has started... This has started a big discussion, a big discussion, and I, I started talking and, you know, giving my opinions on this, and it's all over the place, right? You know, there's Sony fanboys that are really pissed off. Oh, my God, you know, you're 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 doing the old Microsoft routine. You know, you're giving away our exclusives, you know? What's the point of having an exclusive console if other people are going to be able to play it? And then you have the other side that's happy, especially PC gamers, right? Or people that play both, obviously. You know, but then you have the business side of it, right? Obviously, they're making more money. But also, if you think about it, the studios are making more money to put into more games in the future being able to put more money into their sequels, right? But also you got to I you got to think of it this way, right? Cuz I used to yell at Microsoft. Microsoft uh, Xbox a little different because obviously Microsoft is PC, right? So it's a little bit more obvious that the Xbox is going to the Xbox and the PC are going to go hand in hand with each other. So that's going to be a little bit obvious. This, not so much, right? Because Sony. But we live in a day and age where pretty much everything comes to PC. Because I talk to a lot of people and they say, well, you know, I have a PC and I have a PlayStation. So I have the best of both. I have pretty much everything from Xbox comes to PC and then I have a PlayStation. But also a Switch, right? Because we know how we know how Switches are. Um... This happens to me all the time. You know, how exclusive the Switch is with their console games. Of course, they have apps now on the phone, but they're not the same, right? Like Pocket, Animal Crossing, um, Mario Kart, iOS version, right? Mario Run. A little bit different. Dr. Mario. But like their own iOS versions, right? Mobile versions. Not straight Switch ports. But now we have these other consoles versions coming to PC. But at first I was like, I was a little bit on their side, a little mad, right? Like, But then I thought, you know what? No. Because here's why. Here's my big thinking of this. First of all, it's going to help the developers out financially to put more money into their franchises, to put a better product out in the long run. And second of all, it's going to reach more gamers, right? And my thinking is this. My thinking is these games are not going to come out exactly at the same time. So it's going to be what they call timed exclusive, if you think about it this way. These games are going to be on PlayStation for a long time. Two years, three years, four years. By the time they come out on PC, it's going to be like, who cares? It had all that time to make money and to become a PlayStation exclusive. By the time it's on PC, it's like, what's the big deal? If you really wanted to play it, wouldn't you have played it already? It made its money. The PlayStation 
nutcases, the PlayStation fan base, the PlayStation diehards played it already. Two, three years, four years, whatever. Like Days Gone. It's on PC now. Not a big deal. It had all that time to be exclusive on PlayStation. So it's technically still. It's still not on Xbox. Which means. How many people still have a. Have, are going to be able to just get a PC to be able to play these games? You still have to have that PC market. You still have to have all that money to build a PC. You're not. You're still going to have the console people that still need a console to play these games. So you're really only marketing the PC people anyway. And actually, in the long run, this may get more people to buy a PlayStation because now people that didn't get this game and they're seeing all these PC players playing it, they're like, oh, I can't afford a you know, two, $3,000 PC. I better get a PlayStation so I can play this game. That's my thinking. That's me thinking in a whole. So... I think, in the long run, it's a good thing. I think in the long run, it's a good thing. And I, I've seen this happen, too, with PC games. Because I, I have friends come over and they're like, dude, I can't get a PC to run this. I got to get an Xbox. For me, people tell me an Xbox is easier. It's more affordable. It's easier. Plug it and play it. And I'm able to play all these PC-exclusive games. Not PC-exclusive, but Games that you can play on both. Uh, it's easier for me to own a PlayStation, uh, an Xbox. People would, uh, people are going to say this, that own a PlayStation. And I'm talking about people that are late on the PlayStation game. I'm talking about people that diehard PlayStation fans are going to have these games played already. I'm talking about the PC people. Or the people that say, hey, I saw Days Gone on the PC. Damn, that game looks awesome. I don't have a PC to play that. I better go get a PlayStation. See what I'm saying? So, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing in the long run. I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. And I think it's a good move. I think it's a good business move. Again, they'll make more money. They'll be able to put more money into their studios. Um, especially these less known developers and gaming studios. And I think it'll help them out in the future. I really do, and I think it'll help them out in the long run. Both the fans, the v the players, and the gaming studios. I really do. And the second topic I want to talk about is PlayStation VR 2. Um, my good friend from Sony, Shuhei Yoshida, announced this on his Twitter and now everybody's reporting about it on, over here on the PlayStation vlog, the PlayStation blog. Um, the the beans have been spilt. the uh, The next generation of VR is coming to the PS5 console. It's just an early mention of it. Um, we're not going to know fine details for a while. They don't expect this to come out until 2022, but just so they want you to know. It's in the works. It's being worked on. The next stage of VR is upon us, and it's coming to the PS5. So we figured this. We we had a notion of this, that this was happening. Um, you can get an adapter for the camera for the PlayStation 1 to work on the, on the PS5. It's a free ad adapter that Sony will send you. In the meantime, so you can play all your your PS VR games. I think what I might do is I just might leave my PS4 hooked up for the VR games. Be, be a lot easier. Especially knowing this, I'm just going to wait for the PS5 to come out with their VR, which is next year. Um, and at least we know what's coming, right? And the third topic that I want to talk to you guys about, let me actually switch to my... My menu, my uh, screen here. The next topic that I want to talk to you guys about is the Sony State of Play, which is their Sony Direct press conference, digital, uh, digital updates that they talk about, and that's coming th uh, Thursday. So I will be covering it on Twitter as I always do, 
and I will be probably making a Murray chat video summing it up. It's supposed to be a, as they're saying, a deep dive into upcoming PS5 games, and hopefully we get a lot of release dates. I'm already hearing through the grapevine there's games being delayed, Gran Turismo. Big bummer, you know, big bummer. Um, This is to be expected. I did not want to hear that, though. I, I, I'm super bummed, but it is what it is. Hopefully, it's a good direct, a good PlayStation State of Play, and we hear some good stuff. And hell, who knows? Maybe updates on this PlayStation 5 shortage BS, you know? Who knows? Maybe uh, for those that didn't secure the bag yet, maybe there's some good news. Who knows? Let's find out. We'll find out together, hopefully. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Murray Chat. Until the next episode, Murray out!